started with enabling and using the drop-in function on your Amazon Echo device. Drop-in is a way of video or voice calling which is similar to an intercom. When you place a call to another Echo device, it will automatically answer without the need for anyone to do anything to answer the call. You can drop in to people both inside and outside of your home, providing appropriate permissions are set up. Don't worry, we'll explain more about the settings in this guide. First of all, you need to have Alexa Communications activated. If you don't, we have a tutorial video that will help you set that up, which will be linked in the description box below. Open the Alexa app, tap on Devices in the bottom right corner, then tap on the Echo and Alexa icon at the top. Select the device that you want to enable the drop-in functionality on, scroll down to Communication, and now click on the drop-in section. You will see multiple options. You can choose to have it on for permitted contacts only, have it on for your household, which is only devices registered to your account or linked to your account through the Amazon household service, or you can have it off so no one can drop in on you. My recommendation would be to have it on for permitted contacts only. So if you click on that option, that's the drop-in function activated for that device. The next step would be to choose what contacts are permitted to drop in. Click on the communicate icon at the bottom of the screen, then tap on the contacts icon in the top right corner and select the contact that you want to enable drop-in for. You'll see a slider button that says allow drop-in. When you click that, you get a warning that tells you you're about to activate the drop-in function for that particular contact. If you then click OK, that's that contact enabled. A disclaimer for this function would be to make sure that you trust the person that you're enabling drop-in for, as they'll have permission to connect to your devices at any time. To use drop-in, you can either use voice commands, use the touchscreen on your device, or use the Alexa app. It is worth remembering that you can't drop in to the app on a mobile device, but you can drop in from the app to a device in the home. So, if you were to drop in on your mum, for instance, using your voice, you would say, Alexa, drop in on mum. When doing so, the first few seconds of a video call would be blurry in order to give the other person a chance to move out of the way or to hang up. Once you are done with the video call, you can say Alexa, end call, and that hangs up the call. If you want to drop in using the touch screen, you swipe in from the right hand side of the screen and tap communicate. Now, if you want to drop in on one of the devices in your house or someone on your account, you would tap drop in. But if you want to drop in on someone in your contact list, click show contacts, tap on the contact you want to drop in on and click the drop in icon. The last option is to drop in using the Alexa app on your phone. Open the app, and tap on communicate at the bottom of the screen, tap on drop in and you can select which device you want to drop in on. If you want to drop in on a contact, tap on the communicate icon at the bottom, tap on the contact icon in the top right corner, select the contact, then tap on the drop in icon at the top of the page. If you need more guidance, you could also find a step-by-step -step guide in the help section of our website. The link to our website is in the description section below. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to click like and subscribe in order to be up to date with our latest videos. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorial videos, feel free to visit our YouTube channel.